Hello everyone, today I am going to demonstrate the operation of a dental panoramic x-ray machine to some trainees in VR using SimLab VR collaboration and I will walk you through all the steps that you need to follow to start a collaboration session of your own. In SimLab VR Viewer, after adding the X-Ray VR experience, I'm going to select it, then I'm going to click the VR Collaboration button. Once I'm in the Collaboration Lobby, I'm going to click on Add Contacts, then I'm going to select Jeff to invite him to the Collaboration Session since I already have him as a contact. Then I'm going to click on the link invitation icon to generate a link that would allow any user to join the VR collaboration session. I will then copy the link and distribute it to the other trainees through Discord. Of course you can use any messaging system, it doesn't have to be Discord, but this is what I usually use to communicate with the trainees. Now each trainee will join the VR collaboration session through his preferred device. Victor will be joining us through an Oculus Quest, Jeff through a PC in desktop mode, Shubak through his mobile phone, and Jason through a Pico VR headset. Once all the participants are ready and have a green indicator next to their names, I can start the VR collaboration session. Thank you all for attending the Panoramic X-Ray Machine Operation Guide in VR. Let us begin right away with what we need to do prior to taking images. The first thing to do is to ask the patient to remove any metallic objects that he has on him from the shoulder up. Things like glasses and piercings should be removed if possible. Once the patient removes the objects that may interfere with the x-ray imaging, we need to grab the lead apron and put it on the patient's body to minimize the exposure of x-ray on the body. With dental x-ray imaging, the patient needs to bite down on a plastic mouthpiece, so we need to get a new mouthpiece and install it on the device. Now that the patient is ready and the machine is set, we are going to ask the patient to approach the machine to get a better estimation of his height and then to adjust the machine accordingly. There are two height controls on the machine and we begin by adjusting the overall height of the machine using the sliding button to the left. Once we reach a good position of the imaging plates near the head, we need to adjust the headrest component of the machine to match the patient's jaw's position by sliding the second controller up or down. This looks good for now, so we can ask the patient to grab the handle beneath the headrest and to bite down on the mouthpiece, and to ask specifically for the patient to lock his teeth on the small indentation in the mouthpiece. Now we need to tighten the forehead supports which would assist the patient in remaining still while taking the panoramic image. The next step is to turn on the guiding light by toggling on the light button on the machine's panel. We need to make sure that the first vertical line crosses the face from the middle and the second vertical line to pass the canine. We also need to make sure that the horizontal line crosses the nose bridge perpendicularly. You can adjust the patient's head during this step to ensure that the lights are in the right place, and once we are done, we can turn the guiding lights back off. We are now ready to take the panoramic image, so we ask the patient to remain still and we inform him that he might hear some beeping sounds while the machine is running. As for the power button, there are usually two types. Some machines have their power button on a remote controller that is attached to the machine by a cable, and some machines have their power button installed in a faraway place that is at least six feet away from the machine behind a wall. In either case, we need to maintain that distance away from the radiation while taking the image. Press the power button to start taking images. Since this is a VR experience and not an actual x-ray machine, we can get close to the machine and observe how it works. Beep. 
Once the machine gets to a halt and the final beep sounds, the imaging process is concluded and we now can release the forehead supports. Once the support is released, ask the patient to step away from the machine. Take the lead apron off the patient and put it back in its place, and then head back to the machine and remove the used mouthpiece and dispose of it in a medical waste bin. We have just gone through the procedure of taking a dental panoramic image using an x-ray machine successfully. I hope it has been clear and informative. Thank you all.